Hello chat boys out there, I hope you've all had a great Thursday. Today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys about what I got to on my third day at work place win, because I'm in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, no, yeah, my second, no, my second day of work place win. See, all the days just get modded out, it's been such a crazy week, because I was off on Monday as normal, but then on Tuesday I was off as well because I had internet day. So all the days have just got confused my brain. So yeah, this is my second day of my three days of work placement I do. And it's gone really well. I'm absolutely loving it. I got ready for the day ahead and I had some toast and a cup of tea. My dad was up and he took me off to work placement. My younger brother got back from Spain last night and he went off to college and so did my younger sister and my younger brother's girlfriend and him went off to college. And my older sister is at work and older brother is in uni and my dad's off work till next week keeping an eye on my mum as she's just got off hospital on Sunday. She's doing a lot better and just needs to rest at the moment. And I got to work present and got signed in and put my bag and stuff away and I wore my work trousers but turned them into shorts like I did yesterday and just had my work t shirt on because it was so sunny. They said on the weather that apparently it was supposed to wane and be really cold and windy and miserable but it's been really nice and sunny today it's a teeny little bit windy so I'm worried that I'm going to fly away in a minute like the nannies from my Poppins and yeah my mum said the other day that apparently I look like I've lost weight which is lovely of her and she also said that apparently I've got natural blonde in my hair so in the summer time my hair goes a lighter blonde colour and apparently on the top it looks blonde I don't see it, but apparently that's what it's going like. I need a new haircut. At least I know I'm not going bald anytime soon because my hair just is growing so long at the moment. I know that it's when it's going long, when my fringe gets all flicky and like just goes all crazy. And yeah, I got to work place and I got signed and put my bag and stuff away in the staff room. Said good morning to my colleagues, signed in and put my high vis on and I was out sorting out the flowers, doing some flower arranging and I was taking some stuff to the tip in the yard so I had to wear my high vis out there because it's part of protocol and I was then sorting out the flowers and arranging those, sweeping up and then watering the flowers and I'm not quite sure who's getting watered, me or the plants more because by the end of watering the plants, by the lunchtime my shorts and t-shirt were soaked my feet were wet from my shoes being wet and yeah it was a little bit uncomfortable being soaked but throughout the day I soon dried off and the sun kept me nice and warm and I was here down everywhere and I I was loving it at work placement and I was sorting out the shelves and tidying them up and then I had my lunch, I went off to the staff room and had my lunch and chatted with my mate who I went to secondary school with and we've decided that we're going to try meet up with the others that were on our course at 6th form and that were our little friendship group in secondary school I still see now and hopefully we're going to get to see them again soon and go off to the pub and yeah, I had my lunch and chatted with her and then she went off back to the restaurant where she does her work and I uploaded some photos that I got of some flower snaps while on my break making way to the staff room I got some nice snaps of these flowers that I watered and stuff so they looked really authentic and I treated a bit I called my dad up on my morning break just to see how my mum was doing and stuff and say how my day had been and then I went off back to work after my lunch and I got the dead flower heads off of the plants, watered some more plants and then I went off to see my colleague and mentor George who like shows me what to do and stuff and tells me what to do. Had a chat with him and I went out and did some more tidying out and was just straightening out the shelves, sorting stuff out on the shelves, picking stuff up on the shelves and I then went and did some tail training and observing on the tail and said about three or four people and it went really well and I then was finished for the day and I got my bag and stuff ready 
said goodbye to my colleagues, signed out, and went and waited for my mum to come pick me up. And my mum's feeling a lot better, and she picked me up today. My dad normally picks me up because he wants my mum to work, but she was getting a bit house crazy staying in, so she came to pick me up as he'd gone off to have a nap. And she's doing a lot better and looking sounding a lot better. And her tablets are definitely happy because she has like about a billion tablets she has to take now. So she gets to keep on, she forgets a, f a few, so she, she, I can keep it on for to remind her. But other than that, she's doing really well. And I got changed and put my bag and stuff away. Stoked my dog Harvey, he was jumping up and getting very excitable. And I then went onto my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I went up into my room and had a little bit of a nap because I was exhausted. And I'm feeling nice and refreshed now. And I listened to a bit of Kylie Minogue's Golden Album, such a great album, and a bit of Matt Willis. Love his album. I love Up All Night and Hey Kid. And I watched some Super Dark Show episodes last night and the newest Charlie Hunter episode. And I have had such a great week so far. It's going really well. And I watched really great episodes. Friends of Big Boy Three episodes and. I don't know why I said Will and Thumper, no not Will and Thumper, Shadow Humper episodes, Thumper episodes. I'd watched Bambi the other day, so Thumper is from that, I think. I just realised that I said Shadow Thumpers. That would be a completely different show with Thumper from Bambi. Oh gosh, it's just been a long week. Just, you know when you're trying to say something and it all just comes out in gobbledygook? Yeah, I get that a lot. And yeah, I've sorted out the dolls that I got from the charity shops the other day and I put them in, came the hairs out, put hair bands around the heads to keep the hair flattened down and I am probably going to have to work on them a bit more but I'm just going to show you the ones I, what I've done so far. Right, so this one here, I put them in a nice little outfit here, very sweet and I managed to sort of out a bit. It's just very curly and a little bit hard to maintain but I think it looks pretty nice and she looks very sweet. Then there's this one whose hair is a bit crazy. It's got that really weird texture which is quite so it's quite hard to use so I just put it up in a ponytail. But I think it's good because then you can see her face and she's got lovely sparkly eyeshadow and lips like I've said before when I showed you when I first got these. But she's got such a lovely pretty face and I really like her outfit and her shoes. I've got a brat doll already that's got these trousers on so now I have two pairs of those but she's so lovely. I can't wait to get some nice photos of her up close to see it, show her face and then I have two more to show you guys and I'll just show you this one. Here I'm just sorting her outfit out because it came undone. I'll show you this one first. This one here is going to be the sister of one of my characters and my dog is a show called Casey. She's going to be called, hmm, I'm not quite sure. Comment down below what I should name this doll for my dog is a show. And I love her, she's so pretty. She had a pink mark on her eyebrow and a black mark on her thigh and I cleaned that off and she looks amazing. Can't wait to get some nice photos of her too. Then the last one, her hair needs a lot of work still. I, I, flat, I used a hairband to help flatten it down, but I think I'm going to have to take her outfit off and wash her hair because it's a bit icky. Like I've, I think they put, must have put like a spray on it or something, but, so I'm going to have to wash that out. But this one here is a made-to-move doll, and I can't wait to pose her in lots of different poses. She's got bendy knees and articulated body, that's what I was trying to say. That's the word I was thinking of. I couldn't quite think of it but I got there in the end. She's such a lovely doll. I love her earrings and her outfit and these awesome shoes and I love how her ankles can move as well and she can pose in different poses so I'm going to get a few nice photos of her from my Instagram so I'll be able to, after I've sorted her hair and washed it and made it nice and smooth I'll be able to get some nice photos of her. So these are the four dolls made up and I've sorted them out and I worked on the new chapters of my book and some new songs and played on my keyboard and played on Minecraft card and Stakes and Ladders and Leading card and some other cards and board games 
and I played on Stardoll and some other game sites and played on Minecraft and I had a cup of tea and a snack typed my office up for my be working on new touches of a bit and did some paper dress making illustrating, colouring and splash designing and some colouring pages and some word searches and I tidied up my dog as a show from set from where I've been playing my dog as a show folded out that and tidied up my dolls and dollhouse put some of my new dolls on display and some of my older dolls back in storage these two are going to be going into the dollhouse and these two are going to be going on to with the others as the extras but these two are my favourites because this one's going to be Me Megan and she's going to be visiting Chloe and then this is Casey's sister so yeah I'm looking forward to adding those into my dog as I show and I love how I've got black and white and green and all different types of coloured dolls because I am diverse and I love how they all have different shapes and sizes, different hair colours, different eye colours and it's just great. I love how diverse Barbie and other dolls are now becoming and I am now off to go watch today's Home Away Neighbours and I've got a cheeseburger tasty call on my name that I've just made and I will have that and my cup of tea and watch those and then go and sort out my main beauty doll and do a bit of doll photography and finish sorting my new dolls out so I can then do some doll photography with those as well. I hope you've all had a great day, have a lovely rest of your week and a lovely Friday tomorrow and I shall see you soon in a new vlog coming very soon. Just remembered one thing, before I go tomorrow my auntie and cousins and my grandma are going to be coming up to see me in my work placement at, at the garden centre so i'll get to show them like me working and stuff and then i will be going with them to the concord museum for a little trip out and then we're going back to my grandparents house where i'll stay until my younger brother finishes college and he's going to come down and see them for a bit and we're going to go off because my younger brother's just got back from Spain and he hasn't seen them because he left when they arrived in England so he's going to get to see them just before they get off because they're going back to Ireland on Saturday so yeah that's just my little quick thing that I had to remember to say I hope you've all had a lovely week so far have had a lovely Thursday have a lovely Friday tomorrow and enjoy this lovely sunny weather and I shall see you soon very soon bye